Have you made a decision uh, today whether you intend to testify or whether you intend to invoke your Fifth Amendment privilege? Uh, I will invoke my Fifth Amendment privilege today. Derek Chauvin speaking in court in Minneapolis today, deciding he will not take the stand in his own defense. The judge explained that is completely the right of the defendant. And since he didn't testify today, the defense rested, meaning that we are about to enter a new phase of this trial with closing arguments now scheduled for Monday. So we had roughly two weeks of prosecutors making their case, followed by just two days for Derek Chauvin's defense attorney. And people are obviously wondering if Chauvin made the right decision in not testifying. And today we got reaction to all of this from one of our two on your side legal analysts, John Elmore. He has been following every step of this trial and he has a unique perspective as a former state trooper and current defense attorney. I miscalculated and I thought that he would take the stand because the jury does not know anything about Derek Chauvin's personality, whether he's a likable person, uh, whether he showed any empathy or anything like that. Police officers are usually good witnesses when they testify. This guy was on, he's a police officer for 19 years and has probably been on the stand hundreds and hundreds of times. But um, it would if he would have testified, it would have given the prosecution an opportunity again to go over the all of the body camera footage and the cell phone footage and, and watch this man slowly die again. And it really just comes to mind my mind that the video evidence to be replayed over and over again would have made a very difficult cross-examination. Uh, so that was probably the deciding factor. So while John said this was a close call, he thought really the only way for the defense team to be able to counter the strong arguments of the prosecution with dozens of compelling witnesses after all that time was to put Chauvin on the stand. Yeah, again, closing arguments will happen on Monday. Then this case will go to the jury. We'll keep you posted.